Hey ihr Lieben, what's going on? We're on the road. We're going to the Ark Encounter, which is all the way in Kentucky. And you might or might not know that we live in Florida, so it's quite a long ways up. It's about two days driving. We're already almost two and a half hours on the road. So if this is your first time here on this channel, and if this is the first video you see, well, welcome. <laughs> I'm Yesh, YeshuaBoyton.com. Usually I make content about helping you guys go from life struggles to spiritual empowerment. I do teaching videos about the Bible and biblical topics, mainly in spiritual warfare and healing and deliverance. And sometimes I'm uploading videos like this one, like a vlog. I don't know what's ahead of us. I don't know what we will encounter on the way there and especially how this Ark Encounter is going to be. We've heard a lot of good things but it's definitely going to be a great experience. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along. you guys to come back and forth as often as you want to see what you need to see. Where's the ark? As a size comparison, this thing is huge. Look at that. Four stories tall. All morning in the Ark of Encounter already. Oh, that's loud here. Everywhere people, it's so loud. We got halfway through and now we're heading into the big auditorium where we're gonna see a movie and a theater play. Play, drama play. Well, we're done with the drama. We had a nice, awesome lunch, all-you-can-eat buffet. And Elijah and I went into a virtual reality time travel kind of thing, which was cool. Was that fun? Yeah, it was fun. And now we're going back to the Ark on deck three and four.
we have been going through the whole Ark Encounter Museum. And we're tired now. We how long have we been here? Eight hours? Yeah. Almost eight hours. Yeah. We've been here <laughs> almost eight hours. We left the hotel at nine. So almost eight hours on the on our feet. What's your resume? <laughs> your review of the Ark Encounter right after you you're done. I always knew it was big, but I think seeing a replica of it really helps put it in perspective of actually how big it really was. Yeah, it's amazing how eight people could have built this this whole thing, which, you know, your dad said they probably had some contractors in between to make it happen, probably. Who knows? But it's amazing to see it in, the, in real life. What we just saw now was really interesting with the history and the f like everything around the flood that was pretty cool I like that why should people come here if they should come here why would they why should they come here would you recommend it yes I would recommend it it's a nice time for families yes it's relaxed yes it's not chaotic it's well, a good price for kids yes it's safe like we didn't feel unsafe in any ways like with pandemic and all that mm. no it's very family friendly. I think it helps open your eyes beyond just the, maybe just the, the kids Bible book that you've read or kids Bible story that you might have read to just kind of see maybe how it could have been. Right. And get some more true history, I guess. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's good to see it alive, like to see the written word in real life, <laughs> to just see it illustrated. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a very, very Christian place. And yet they try to make it uh, evangelistic and open for non-Christians to come and actually get educated at least. Um, it's very good. My son and I went to the virtual, virtual encounter thing. It's like a VR kind of thing, which was way overpriced. Sorry, it's just way, way too expensive. I paid for my little four, four-year-old and myself twenty-six dollars for a 30 minute wait plus 10 and a half minute VR experience, which was good. It was very cool. My son was excited. He came out, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so, you know, it's worth the price <laughs> in that sense to just make him happy. But like if for every other person, that's way too expensive. But other than that, it's very kids friendly with the prices, like small kids are free, mostly free. Yeah, Food is all you can under, eat. Get in free. Right, and food is all you can eat. The question though that I would have, and that's maybe I just missed some of the signs that I didn't didn't read because I just didn't want to read them. But what I was questioning was, they show a lot of dinosaurs, a ton of dinosaurs in the Ark. They basically make the point that the dinosaurs survived, or they made some dinosaurs survive. So if that's the case, my question is, as a Christian, as a believer, like, why don't we then have dinosaurs living now? Because there was nothing else after. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, are they saying that to kind of mumble it together with evolution theory? Mm -hmm. Like, they have raptors down there, and they have yeah. all kind of flying dinosaurs down there in the in, in the cages, and they even showed it in the VR thing. And I'm like, okay, well, mm -hmm. if they save dinosaurs, why don't we have dinosaurs right now? Mm -hmm. Well, that's my big question, which they probably answer in one of the <laughs> those plaques somewhere. Mm -hmm. What would you say about time management and time investment here? Come early. Come as, as, as soon as this thing opens, be there. The, the lines were long. If you have a small child or a smaller-ish child, take your stroller, then you get the stroller bonus. Very important. No, it's important because then you can kind of go around the big line, have your tickets printed out come early, grab something to eat and to drink, because food is expensive even though it's cheaper for kids, yeah. but plan it is. All day. And like plan all day. And plan all day. Pl like plan eight. at least one day. What is it? When do they open? Not nine, nine to eight. You mm -hmm. almost need the whole day. You do need the whole day. Yeah. 100%. So they, uh, we read before we came here, we read, you need at least six hours. I think they have it on their homepage. Yeah. You need at least six hours, and you do need at least six hours to you know enjoy it and not hustle through we could have hustled through without grandmas and without elijah we probably could have made it in, in four to six including eating mm -hmm. but it's what five 
And we still have, what, about three things we haven't even done yet? What have you not done? The garden. Oh, yeah. The petting the zoo. petting zoo. We're not even completely through. That's right. And <laughs> That's right. He didn't go to the playground, but he's out. We didn't go through the, to the, to the playground. playground. Important. And we got to stop back to the store shop, too. And we have to go to the shop and shop. Very important. So, yeah, take the whole day or plan several days if you have the budget for that. We didn't have the budget for that, so that was okay. But included in our ticket was the Creation Museum, which we will visit tomorrow, mm -hmm. which we will make another video about that. So and keep uh, a lookout for with that. with the armband, you can come and go. That's right. Oh, that's another plus. Yeah, you get an armband, armband wristband. Yeah, you can go out anytime you want. So you could, if you wanted, eat outside or go home and eat, save that money, come back. That's true. That's our 10 minute resume. Resume. Not res well, what do you say, like, summary. A 10 minute summary. <laughs> Is the porcupine? Pokey, pokey, pokey. So this is a zebra and a horse, a zebra and a donkey, and then them two together is a zebroid. And you can see that there. 